Today, we are gonna be fishing with only topwater baits. Got him. Oh, got one. Oh, this is a big one. What in the freaking world? To start off, I'm gonna be throwing a mini bus bait by Strike King. Let me show you guys. Okay. I might even use it without a trailer. Why not? Let me show you guys what Maddie is gonna be starting off with. And this is the one we're most excited for. This. This is a $2 knockoff Whopper Plopper from Timu. Yes, you heard that right, from Timu. We've actually thrown this guy a few times. You can see all the stuff caught in his little spinner. And then this is also a Timu special. Now this guy only has one triple hook on him. My only concern is if they do short strike it, like come after this little flashy part, there is no hook in the back. So that could be a problem, but I think it'll still get the job done. We'll find out. But anyways, enough of my rambling. I'm gonna go get ready and we're gonna head onto the lake and we will catch you guys there. Should blow up right about here. Got him. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the bite. He he surprised me a little bit. Well, I knew if the one was gonna blow up, it was gonna be right near that log right there. And sure enough, he did. Beautiful little bass. Kind of dark in color too. He's orangey. He's almost like orange in color. You guys see that? What you been eating on, friend? Beautiful fish though. You gotta love a good buzz bait eat. I'm gonna get him right back into the water. We'll give him a gentle toss to get him past all this spunk. And there he goes. We're just gonna go fish this little shallow area over here. Whew. That's brave. It's real shallow. All right, guys, we got a little one. A little tiny dink. Thanks, buddy. Just a little tiny dinky. Still a topwater catch, a lot of fun. Very pretty little guy. He'll grow up to be a tank for sure. Let's let him go. Little guy. Hi, buddy. Oh, golly. There he is. All right, let's get this buddy back in the water. Thank you for the, I w I'm not even gonna say the fight, but for the catch. It looks real shallow, pretty far out there. You'd have to get past that. Oh, this is a big one. This is a good one, y'all. Oh, he got off. He got off. Is it all right? How big? Big, like heavy, maybe my PB. That would have been the fish of the day. Did you see my pole? Yeah, I gotta get over here though. There she is, right up against that log. You see her? She's a good fish. This ain't spinning. This ain't doing right. Yeah, I don't like that bait. But this one, this is my favorite. There's one chasing it. Oh, he's chasing it again. Oh, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. She's big. You see her? Mm -hmm. She's waiting for it to come back. She's going that way now. 
Yeah, she started following it. I'm gonna try again. Oh, she's right under it. Here she comes. There. All right, I don't see her no more. She gone. Ooh, there's a big one. That's probably the one I've been trying for. Hi, big mama. Are you hungry? Oh! Oh! Miss. No, it was another one. That was a different one. But she, she saw it and was like, oh, that was my food. All right, guys. I have this white buzz bait on. And there's a game one up there. He's just parked sitting in his car. I don't know if he's like waiting, but he should be coming down here to check our license any second now, I would imagine. Just totally fine. I hear a bunch of like commotion. Might be kids at the little hole down by the dam swimming. Ooh, had a blow up. <laughs> well guys, that's a good sign. Maybe our luck is about to turn around. A white buzz bait. I already used the black, switch up the color. See if we can get him to come back for it. Hopefully that uh, means our luck is about to change. Or, you know, could be just like it's been going. Lots of blow ups with no catches. And guys, this place, this little lake is full of all kinds of underwater vegetation. So typically I would like to run this guy closer to banks and stuff, but this is one of the few places that's near us that you can actually get away with throwing it just about anywhere. <laughs> and see the black one, I didn't have a trailer on. And that's kind of why that I do believe was probably a short strike. He probably went after this and didn't get the hook. And that's why I left it off with the black one. But also the presentation on the black one was smaller. So we were attracting small fish, hoping that this is gonna switch that up. But all you can do guys is uh, stay consistent, stay confident and keep casting. She just don't want to blow up on me anymore. She said I gave it a chance. Didn't like the way it tastes. I'm out. All right, yeah, we can walk up this way. We're going to walk further up this way. I might have to stop filming for a second to show this guy my license. Let's try this little spot. That guy blew up on it. I might have to go back for him. I don't know if he's going to. Uh, my first cast was like Was it? Why? Oh, uh, I hate that. I have to hurry up and reel mine's buzz bait. So one problem with these uh, slower speed spinning reels, you have to really get it reeling to get these things up off the, on top of the water pretty quick. Yeah, you can follow up with that. What was that? Freaking frog. Guys, see, this is why I'm always scared of everything. Nature just like does things. Love nature, but it's like she doesn't love me. And I don't know why I've been good to you, nature. Frog is okay though, it, it just scared me a little bit. My park ranger's still sitting up there. Like, okay, it's just come on, check my license so you can leave. But I will tell you guys, it's one way to get everyone else cleared out, which I'm happy with. <laughs> get the lake to ourselves. <laughs> you trying to catch me or a fish? Come bite this fishy. Hey, how are you? All right, guys, we, we had to show the game wardens. There's two of them. And it, I know, I always feel like I'm in trouble. But anyways, it was two game wardens. One was a chick, so yay, love to see it. Y'all, I'm a nervous talker. Big time. Big time. Yeah, I get to like. I just try to interrupt you so you'll yeah. stop. Seriously, I just say everything. It comes out like word vomit. Yeah. And I don't know why we totally weren't doing anything wrong. But it just, for some reason, just. When someone, an authority type of figure comes along, I always just, just like, yeah. it's like instinct for me to feel like, oh, I'm in trouble. And I'm just like, how's it going? But no, they were really kind, so we showed them our license and kept it pushing. Yeah, it just always makes me feel so awkward. Just really trying. I feel like I could tear them up on a worm, a big old worm. We're seeing some fish. Looks like they're hanging out over in this area, doesn't it? Yeah, the key here, guys, is finding them. If you can find them, I mean, they're pretty picky. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to catch them, but that's the biggest part of the battle here. 
Come on, this looks like a money cast. She got caught up in all of it. That's the bad thing about a buzz bait. You have to immediately start reeling. And I have on this, this on the slow spinning reel, which I'm not the best with the bait caster yet. I mean, I'm okay. I could definitely use one, but should probably be using it more often so I can get better with it. I can't believe there's no fish right there. I don't believe, oh! Oh, give me the frog. Maddie's working that frog on that funk where that fish just blew up. This funk is just so shallow, are you sure? <gasps> it scared me, it scared me, guys. That was funny. <laughs> That's where they're at, we just figured it out. They're up under this stuff, which I figured. We just, uh, you know, using a buzz bait, I wasn't fishing this stuff for a reason. You don't really wanna buzz through this. <laughs> you're not really gonna bust through this. Yeah, the only way you're fishing this stuff, unless you have a really heavy weight to punch through, is with a frog. This stuff is ridiculous. Now, on the frog. I think this is Maddie's first frog catch. It is. He made it. First catch on the frog. Maddie's a camera was not on, unfortunately. And I don't know if I was facing the right way to get the good parts of that. But she just caught her first frog fish. He blew up on it. He came right up out of this stuff right here in front of us. Still a little guy, but you know, it's fun. It does not matter their size. It does, you know, you always want that big giant, but at the same time, catching fish is fun, no matter their size. No! Walk that way. I'm not gonna cry about it if it happens, but guys, I think I lost our little buzz. Yeah, it's like buried into that log. Man, I was not being smart, guys, to think I could bring it over that log right there. I'm gonna try, but I don't think we're saving this. I know it probably looks like I could walk down right here, but that is trick grass. I call it trick grass, because if you step on that, you're going into the lake. Yeah, she's gone. Ah, <sighs> bye, old friend. All right, on to the next. It lives there now, on that log, forever. Oh, yeah, we've gotten a few. Not bad, but... What about you guys? A little bit. A little bit? The ones we caught over there were just like little tinies. Oh, yeah. But... There's a lot of them. Yeah, I know there's some big ones in here. Hopefully we find some of them, but good luck to you guys. Are you using a worm? Yeah. Cheater. He's healthy. So one of the fish was a cheat fish. He came on a worm. That's okay. We won't count him, but he was still fun for Maddie, I'm sure. All right, well, whole lot of blow ups. Not a whole lot of fish. All right, y'all, we back at the lake. We came back for redemption. We got to get more fish than just a few little dinks. I'm tying on this frog we found with a really bad haircut. We found it this way. We did not cut it. Like, oh, look at that. Probably just go ahead and snip that one off. Let's see if we can make something happen with this guy. Let's go work this guy really slow. Something just moved towards it. What is that? Do you guys see that? Okay, buddy, I'm so sorry. I thought I had a fish and then I was like, wait, I saw that come off the bank. Frogs eat frogs? Yeah. Yeah, he's a toad. Look, there he goes. What in the world, guys? I guess they do. They eat their babies. What is wrong with you? At least he's all right. He got off. Um, I wasn't sure what to do <laughs> in that situation, so I was kind of hoping he would fall off, and he did. Anyways, let's try again. <laughs> it jumped on top of my bait, and I thought, I don't know what was going through my head. I just kind of went with it, and yeah. 
Oh, no, 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 no. What in the freaking world? <laughs> Y'all, she's caught another freaking frog. Do these things bite? Okay, he's crying. Oh my God, guys, I feel so bad. It's okay, I'm gonna fix it. Set him on the ground. Okay, okay, just hop along. You gotta go. It don't even look like he's hooked. I'm so sorry. Okay, listen, listen. Bring him over here to me. I'm gonna get the pliers and we're gonna help you, but I need you. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh, he peed, he peed. It's okay. Okay, don't hurt him any more than he already is. He's not hooked. He's not wanting to let go of it. Well, you can't be like that, friend. He's trying to eat it. Oh my God, I, well, I don't want to get bit by it if that's what it does. He is, he don't want to let go of it. Well, you know what? That's not an option today, friend. Grab the frog by the eye. I'm like, scared. What if he bites me like that? Frogs don't bite. Um, yeah, he does. He's biting it. You're gonna have to shake it off. He, Cause he's not hooked. So grab it like right grab here. Grab the eye of the hook and then shake. Cause he's not hooked. He's just get. holding on. Yes, he is hooked. Oh, he is? Oh my God. Oh. Dang. Now if you freak out, I'm gonna freak out. All right, it's okay. All right, there, there you go. go. I'm so sorry. Tell your family to quit it. <laughs> Should I just put this up? No, <laughs> the fish like it. No, they don't. The snakes and the frogs like it. I'm like traumatized right now. Yeah, I feel so bad. You think I he's all right? Think he was hooked. Yeah, he's fine. I'm catching freaking toads today, guys. Let's go. Not the type of toads I would like to be catching. My bad. Oh my God, a snake's trying to bite it. He's trying to eat my frog. Maddie uh, just looked it up to make sure he wasn't a poisonous snake and- Common water snake. Common water snake, okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. I'm still very scared of him and I still want to respect him. Well, what Maddie looked up, it says that the common water snake likes to eat frogs. So I'm making this guy look like a frog, apparently. He believed it. The frogs believed it. The fish don't believe it. I'm not fishing with the frog anymore. I know this was a topwater thing, but you know what? I'm catching everything but fish on topwater. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, missed it. Oh, he missed. Boom. That's a good cast. There might be some fish right there. We'll try up over here with this type of bait too, and then uh, we'll probably go hit the other side and head on out. Yep. It's super tiny. Well, when I went to pull up, I felt pressure. I didn't only catch toads today. Oh, you kept me from getting skunk. He's like, I don't even know how much he weighs. Like, he probably doesn't even have a weight yet. All right, we're gonna get him back into the water. I'm gonna pitch him over that funk so no toads or snakes eating. There he goes. I miss my Texas rigs. There's just something about a Texas rig. Waiting for that right moment to really set that hook is a lot of fun. Uh-oh. Big one. A oh, decent one. I shouldn't say big. But hey, he's the biggest one today. One and a half pounder. He felt big. Ah! Oh! That's enough of you. Good thing we got him in because he definitely broke the line. There you go, buddy. Let me clean him off. This little guy has teeth of steel. He's tearing my finger up with his kicks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. Thanks, baby. He's ready to go. That guy tore my thumb up. Thank you for helping me with that fish, Maddie. I think that was like the first normal size catch of the whole video. I just, I don't know what's been going on, guys. Fishing's been rough. At this lake, anyways. Uh oh, uh oh. Got him. I wanted to sit that hook and make sure I got him. We're just gonna ski this baby in. <laughs> Little baby. Look how fat that baby is, though. All right. 
Thank you, buddy. Look how cute, guys. Look at the fat little belly on that fish. Little chunk. All right, he's got some grass down his throat. I'm gonna get out. Get that out of you. Thanks, little guy. All right, just let this little cutie go. That's why I like these dingers so much. I can go weightless, and these guys cast a country mile because they're so full of salt. Yeah, that little one I caught, he hit really hard like he was big. But then as soon as I set the hook, I knew, okay, you're not big. It's been so long since I caught something over a pound, I forgot what they felt like and thought I had a tank on. I was going to say a toad, but I'm not even using that analogy anymore. Oh, a bite, bite, bite. We might double up, guys. Oh, he got off. And I don't want to commit. Mine didn't either. Well, that was an unfortunate sequence of events. We almost doubled up, guys. Almost. Oh, there's that bite again. This fish wants it. He's playing games. Got him. Hey, he's little. I knew it. We got an audience over there on the dock watching us. They ain't never seen something so big. Oh my God, how does she hold that thick up? All right, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. He's the one that's been biting me. I could tell he was little. Got a wee bit. Look at that little cutie. I'm gonna go over here and let him go gently. There he goes. All right, you guys. What an eventful day. Not a lot of crazy big catches, but you know what? We had so much fun. We definitely have to come back and uh, devote an entire day, hopefully a better day, to nothing but top water. Hopefully get some different types, like some poppers and different things and try them out here. But I hope you enjoyed the content. We will catch you guys on the next one.